Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's raining here in Chicago, and usually in June that's negative to prices. Uh, we watched overnight as the USDA dropped crop ratings both in corn, beans, and spring wheat, um, mostly focused on uh, Minnesota and uh, also parts of Iowa, and uh, those uh, ratings for corn, beans, and wheat dropped uh, in those states where we've had too much rain. Overall ratings though are still high and uh, for beans uh, almost record high and so we have to kind of plug in uh, maybe a little bit higher yield uh, for the whole country uh, because of the current crop ratings and conditions. Historically conditions do drop from here as we get into the summer month but when we look at the U.S. Uh, weather outlook it looks pretty good. Uh, this week's going to have off and on showers with warm humid conditions. Uh, if I'm a corn and bean plant that's very good. Uh, we're still looking at some ridging in the month of July, but it doesn't expect it to last very long. So the only real weather problem that we have globally is the slow start to the Indian monsoon. And so that's been helping uh, soybean oil prices, helping world veg oil prices in anticipation that maybe India may have to import some veg oil uh, to offset the, the slow start to and maybe the, the reduced monsoon. Um, as far as other news is concerned, we're awaiting the USDA report on June 30th. Average trade guess so shows corn acres about unchanged from the USDA March intentions. Bean acres up. Uh, stocks numbers, corn uh, bigger than in last year, uh, beans and wheat lower than last year. And we'll just see what degree uh, difference between a year ago and what impact that could have on prices. Funds are still long, uh, corn and beans and meal. Uh, they've got some small short positions in oil and wheat. Uh, the question is how long will these funds hold on to the corn position when we're near the season low in corn prices and, and would weather push them over the brink and take us down lower. In the soybean markets we're seeing a little bit lower trade overnight. Uh, I think some people are kind of questioning why are beans holding up at these price levels when corn and wheat are near season lows and some People look at the fact that we have a record amount of new crop soybean meal on the book and all of a sudden we've got big demand for soybean oil and that could have brought in some um, pricing uh, underneath the bean market. But as we watch the technical signals of the market, beans might be ready to roll over if we have a good U.S. crop. So all in all, um, corn and wheat prices near season lows, weather looks okay. Uh, beans near support and weather looks okay and we probably should trade below that. And we've got a key report coming up with the uh, June 30th numbers. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.